Hello everyone, welcome to Phone Arena. We have a really exclusive device here to unbox today. It's the Qualcomm Snapdragon Insider smartphone. That's a big name, lot to it. But yes, why I'm excited about it and why we're excited about it is because it's packing the best of Qualcomm technologies in to one showcase package. showcase the best yeah. of Snapdragon, their yeah. Snapdragon ecosystem. It contains also, all of their technologies. Yeah, all of the Snapdragon and Qualcomm technologies, not only the smartphone aspect, but also the Snapdragon sound as well. Yes, so, audio. Uh, audio and the imaging and processing, I mean, 5G, everything, you name it, it's there in this phone. And uh, it's exclusive to the Snapdragon Insiders uh, program community members. Mm -hmm. So uh, Qualcomm announced this program earlier this year in India as well. And uh, it's a community of about 1.5 million fans, they claim. Uh, so if you are part of the program, you can buy this phone. And the India pricing is roughly around 1 lakh 15,000. Uh, not confirmed not yet, confirmed but should yet. be around that much. But range. it's uh, already launching in other markets. Uh, India is sometime later this year. Right. But yes, it's coming. So that's why we have it here. Mm -hmm. We're going to be unboxing it and talking to you about the Snapdragon inside a smartphone. So let's dive in and take a look at what's in the box. So let's open up the box and see. has some pretty unique packaging. Yeah. The box splits open like this. Yeah, it doesn't fall off. So yeah, it's, so it's nice. sealed in. Sealed in. Yeah. And uh, uh, have a welcome letter here. It says join the Snapdragon program. You already partly, you are in the, possibly in the program if you got it, but it's a review unit. So uh, that's why I think that uh, messaging is there. And wow, so you have the. Snapdragon Sound, TWS earbuds, and also the phone here. So you, the, it is an entire package. It's yep. not just the smartphone itself. So they, because they want to showcase all of their uh, capabilities, it also includes a uh, Snapdragon Sound, uh, TWS, TWS earbuds, uh, and Master Dynamics. Yeah, uh, from Master Dynamics, yeah. and uh, of course the phone itself. 65 watt quick charge 5.0. Yes, Qualcomm uh, quick char quick charge 5.0 technology. It's not very common these days, but it's. It is very, very fast. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you have the earbuds themselves. Yeah. Uh, along with the smartphone. You have the kind of a bumper case, the uh, ear earbuds case. Earbuds case and also and the charger. So, let's take a look at the earbuds first. Kind of curious as to how they look. Oh, it's actually a, has a lot of weight to it. Should be quite uh, heavy. You have some earbuds. The cable and uh, charge, charging stuff and stuff. And you have the earbuds and also you have the case. And, yeah. So, it says how sound should work. Snapdragon's sound is the marketing material and wow so this is looks pretty good quality feels very it's high quality like very uh, if you're a Qualcomm fan I mean you're a fan of Snapdragon right. you should probably getting be getting this one because I mean it's got the Snapdragon brand plastered all around yeah <laughs> uh, so this is fun so, with that you think you have a yeah it's a custom bumper case made specifically for this phone Keep that aside and yeah, uh, so the butts go in the case so they have some protective plastic for the earbuds so i just got rid of it you have the leds uh, for the charging indicators fully charged and nothing else in the box i assume oh, that's the user manual that's user manual uh, all of the cables are in the charging cable so you get a type c and it's a nice braided cable they put yes. in which is nice to you have a nice type c to type c cable and also six a watt charging brick like a and two type c as well Type C to Type A. Yeah, nice, so it's, it's nice that they include uh, that in the box too. Yeah, it's got this uh, Quick Charge 5.0 logo, yes. logo on this and it's got the Type C. It's a US plug, but I think for India it will be a European plug. Yes, for sure, unit, once it comes to the uh, market. So, user manual, so let's see what is in this. Talks about charging your phone, and NFC. All the usual the Snapdragon technology. Usual stuff, there's also mention of the SAR value which is 1.19 watts per kilogram and 0 0.69 watts per kilogram body. Um, so FCC compliance. And yeah, so same thing in, in French as well. So let's put this all aside and take a look at the Hero. Uh, smartphone, the smartphone itself. itself. The Snapdragon inside a smartphone. I mean, I don't know why they couldn't think of a smaller name. But it's like, oh, <laughs> it's a mouthful. Snapdragon maybe, inside Maybe the next version smartphone. they'll probably design a better name. Okay. So, wow. It's got some good have to it so uh it's not it's not designed by um qualcomm itself they are uh, in fact uh, they've partnered with asus yeah so it says designed by asus on designed the, by asus so they've partnered with asus and it is based on the design of their um, flagship rog series gaming phones so that's why it's, it looks very familiar to the rog series but yeah. there are small design tweaks and uh, changes to, uh, to see uh, i mean there's a fingerprint sensor so it's basically one of those i think uh i mean 
protos but yeah. uh, early access devices i mean it's not a mass market phone it's a very niche group which is going to be right. using it but still you get access to the latest premium tech basically all of the premium tech yeah so it's got all the 5g bands uh, mm-hmm. i think uh, most of the common 5g bands i mean snapdragon 888 it's not 888 plus because probably the it came later on yes uh, was fro- frozen by the time 888 plus was right. announced so this is running on 888 still not a slouch mm-hmm. and it's got a uh, 144 hertz samsung amoled display uh, display and uh, 16 gb of ram, ram 512 gigabyte of storage, storage. i mean uh, it's in, in terms of specs it is probably <laughs> maxed out in every yeah, every sense maxed out so it says 4 i think it's first time i'm seeing 512 gb on an android phone yeah it's been a while uh, four it says 19.6 gb used out of uh, four about five out of five well so this is the fingerprint sensor on the back and also you have a nice snapdragon logo also on light the up logo yes on the ROG phone you would have seen an ROG logo here in the Qualcomm Snapdragon inside this phone you will have a Snapdragon logo that lights up in white wow so i'm just setting this up you can feel the nice tactile feedback as well as you set it up mhm that should be the vibration motor for that's working over here so it has a fingerprint sensor in the back and it's using their 3D Sonic uh Gen2. Gen2 sensor yeah it's quite as it's quite fast So it'll be basically instantaneous. Yeah. Capacitors have been like so been around for a long time. So you don't even have to wake up the wake phone. Up the phone. Yeah. Just, and you can see the Qualcomm <laughs> Snapdragon 888 wallpaper already preloaded. So let's take a closer look at the specs. Mm-hmm. So I mean obviously under the hood it's powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 processor and uh, it's a 5 nanometer SoC and it's a 64 bit octa core processor clocked at 2.84 GHz and also under the hood is the Adreno 660 GPU right and it's coming in only one color it's the blue midnight blue color one variant overall one variant, actually yeah so and it's about 210 grams slightly on the heavier side right. but it's a large screen phone the product in terms of the display you have a 6.78 inch 140 hz Samsung AMOLED display and it's a 140 hertz panel with a 1 millisecond refresh uh, Resp- uh, uh, refresh response response time 1 140 hertz refresh rate and 1 millisecond response time and uh, it's got 800 nits of brightness and uh, 1200 nits of peak brightness so it's a really bright screen what else so it's got corning gorilla glass victus in terms of protection and it's got hdr hdr 10 and hdr 10 plus certification so it's good for i mean watching uh, netflix Con- and yes. other kind of content and uh, it's got always on display functionality as well it is an amoled display yeah. after all yeah and overall it's a pretty neat looking phone uh, from the front in terms of the display right so in terms of the camera on the back you have the main uh, sensor is 64 mp imx 686 which is and you uh, 686 sensor and it uses that quad bay technology, technology you also have a dual led flash and then right. you have a 12 mp ultra wide ultra wide and a 8 mp uh, telephoto. telephoto lens as well and you also have the fingerprint sensor on the bottom and below the camera and also you have the light up logo light up logo for the snapdragon logo you have the nice snapdragon branding on the back mm-hmm. and it says designed by asus on the top you also see a, a microphone near the camera so the right. additional microphone and you also have a microphone on the top as well this all uh, feeds into the snap snapdragon uh, sound, sound technology yeah uh, and also you have a so multiple uh, mics for noise cancellation in terms yes. of audio um, and nothing on the it's flush on the left and on the right you have the power button and also the volume rocker nothing on the top and on the bottom you have the type c port the speaker speaker port right and yeah the sim slot, slot yeah. uh, for the dual sim uh, nano dual nano sims the front camera is the 24 mp uh, sensor so in terms of the audio you have dual speakers uh, using qualcomm acoustic Axtic. or axtic technology i mean they've shortened acoustic yes. to axtic i guess so it has a front firing speaker and a side firing speaker or the bottom firing speaker yeah. and uh, like it supports high res audio uh, through the usb c port as well and uh, the microphone this is a quad microphone setup and it also supports uh, noise reduction technologies including the qualcomm noise reduction technology as well so it supports 8k video capture on the camera mm-hmm. on the back and at 30 fps and 4k at 30 or 60 fps and uh, it has three axis eis for the cameras and uh, you can also take still photos while recording uh, video video and in terms of wifi it supports the latest wifi 6 and other older technologies as well it supports wifi 6e in, in fact not just 6 but 6e so and it supports uh, bluetooth 5.2 and uh, qualcomm aptex and snapdragon sound and wifi direct as well 
and uh, it does support uh, navic is the indian standard right for yes. the, uh, so it supports the it does the, have, uh, alpha uh, navic yeah it does have support mm-hmm. for alpha navic other apart from gps glonass baidu and galio and all that stuff so in terms of the 5g bands it supports a wide variety of 5g bands uh, and i think india i mean mm-hmm. uh, is getting 5g sometime soon and it supports uh, sub 6 sub and millimeter and wave millimeter wave right yes so sub 6 and r millimeter wave n2527258 i mean it supports i mean Pretty more than 10 or 15 i mean all the bands i mean qualcomm is the leader in, in terms uh, of 5G tech 5G technology yeah and uh, so this supports pretty much most of the bands so you don't have to worry whether we'll have support so this is probably one of the few future proof phones in terms of 5G we don't mm-hmm. even have 5G yet but yeah so that's a good thing to have and other than that it also supports uh, carrier aggregation LTE in on terms of LTE and uh, in terms of battery it's got only a 4000 mAh battery uh, on the inside but did support Qualcomm quick charge 5.0 so that should be able to charge the phone to 70% in 30 minutes yeah and uh, full charge in 52 minutes full charge in 52 uh, minutes so yeah so it's uh, that's the exactly. battery yes uh, although i'm surprised they managed to pack only a 4000 mAh battery on the inside of such a large chassis yeah uh, it feels a little bulky I expected at least 5000 or 6000 mAh so 4000 uh, we would obviously do a battery test and do stay tuned to that uh, to check out how the battery performance is like so other than that uh, yes yeah, so this is basically a showcase of qualcomm's latest innovations in the mobile space in, in including smartphones and sound and charging technologies so let's actually try the case as well so there's a bumper case included along with the phone in this package so it's custom designed for this phone yeah so it can protect you from like side bumps i guess yeah okay so it's a little hard to put on but then once it's on it's going to be pretty secure over there yeah it supports i mean it uh, protects the phone from like edge drops and yes uh, does have a small clearance for the display as well so you're putting it face down and you managed to keep the back uh, i mean Completely exposed, exposed yeah exposed, so yeah. you don't hide the snapdragon branding so and the uh, very nice to see that red uh, touch to it as well mm-hmm. so nice. snapdragon colors yeah so that's pretty much it guys so That is a quick look and unboxing and walkthrough of the Qualcomm Snapdragon Insider smartphone. Do let us know in the comments if you're going to be getting one of these. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh, interest from some consumers who actually are big Qualcomm fans. Right. So if you are a die-hard Qualcomm fan, this is probably the sm- smartphone to get. Yes. And uh, we'll be obviously posting some links to the India availability and news about that in the description below so check that out we get to know them and if you have any questions about this device feel free to ask us in the comments and we'll uh, uh, get back to you on that and that's it for now thank you guys for watching see you uh, guys in the next video that was the Qualcomm uh, Snapdragon Insider smartphone, smartphone.